welcome back. It is pretty poison time. No, that's too aggressive. Way too aggressive. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. It's pretty poison time. No, it's too sexy. What's popping? Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. Now, the palette I want to talk about today is one of the latest Bad Habit palettes that came out on the Shop Hush website as well as on the Bad Habit website. And this is the palette. It is the Pretty Poison palette. Now, as you guys can see, this packaging is a gorgeous. It's black and it has kind of like a metallic snake print on it. And the writing looks like a really pretty shiny pink on here. So it's very, very pretty and unique and I love it. And it does have that soft matte feel to the packaging. Now this is the actual box and on the box, it does show the ingredients as well as a 12 month shelf life and it is cruelty free. And on the back of the palette, it has this really pretty blue color and it's the soft matte feel still. And it does list all of the names for the 15 shades that are in this palette. Now this palette does include a mirror, which is very, very nice. It does say pretty poison right here on the bottom of the mirror, if you can see that. And these are the shades in this palette. Now this palette does have mattes, satins, as well as shimmers in it. And it's a very, very nice, nicely weighted palette. It feels like a quality palette. It doesn't feel like a cheap or inexpensive palette in my opinion. It has a very nice weight to it and it feels very comfortable in the hands. It's not too heavy and not too light. Now, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Every single time I start filming, my dogs want to howl and sing and cut up. So I'll wait. Okay, I think they're done. So like I was saying, this is an absolutely gorgeous palette. As you can see, it has a purple, a very purple theme to it, but there's a couple of splashes of pinks in here. And with the mattes, you definitely have some transition shades that you can use. I would say this one up here would be the lightest shade that you can use as a transition. But I really, really like this shade here, which is Deadly Dose. And Antidote is a gorgeous shade as well as far as mattes go. Now, I totally broke some eyeshadow application rules and laws in creating this look today, you guys. I used, I did use one matte on my lid. I used Deadly Dose on my lid in the very beginning to get started with this look. But honestly, I just fell in love with these purples and pinks and I just went crazy with them on my lids. And as you can see, probably they're like all satins, shimmers, all of them. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys are like, wait a minute, is there any mattes on her eyes? Are there, is, what's that in the crease? Yeah, honey, they all shimmers, okay? I, I just went crazy with the beautiful, colors in these shimmers so i'm sorry but i broke some rules today hopefully you guys like it and it still looks okay you know i'm a rebel anyway at heart so that is what i did to create this look now let's just go ahead and jump into some swatches for this palette so that you can see what these swatches look like So you were able to see how this palette swatched on my skin tone. As you can see, it is very pigmented. It swatched nicely. And although I did use just one matte shadow out of this whole palette, it was nice, soft, buttery, and it did blend out very easily and nicely on my lid. Now, for these satin shades and the shimmer shades, I love them. <laughs> 
I love them. If you can't tell just looking at my eyes and this eye look, they applied beautifully. They work very well together. And I think all of the colors in this palette honestly really complement each other. They really, really do look very nice together. I think it would be very hard for you to create a look where the colors didn't really blend nicely and like look I said, great this together. This is a first impression. I've only used it once, but a lot of times with a first impression, I at least know if I don't like the palette. <laughs> and this one I really do. Now this palette currently is running a close second to my favorite purple palette. Let me show you what my favorite purple palette is. Now my favorite purple palette is the Ace Beauty Paradise Fallen Palette. If you guys haven't seen this palette, let me go ahead and show it to you. This palette is gorgeous, okay? If you like purple, then you'll love this palette. It's a very deep, rich, just, <laughs> this palette just really packs that purple punch. So this is my favorite purple palette, but after using, now there is a considerable price difference in these two palettes, okay? This Bad Habit palette is only $16 and I think this Ace Beauty is like $34 or something like that. So there is quite a difference in the pricing on these palettes. And as you can see, the Bad Habit palette has more shades in it. But I'm pretty sure just looking at them, you can tell why these two are like my favorite palettes right now. If I want to do a purple look, I'm grabbing one of these. <laughs> anyway, so, I've run my mouth enough. I really like this palette. I think if you're interested in it, then I say try it out, pick it up, you know. Live on the wild side for 16 bucks. <laughs> okay, so that's it you guys. If you wanna see how I created this look and I haven't bored you to death already, then stay tuned because it is coming up next.